Hello and welcome to juices.co.uk. I'm Simon and this is the latest Amiga juicer to have been released in the UK. It's called the H3000D and it's been designed as a more affordable juicing solution with the aim of making juicing a bit more accessible for everybody. However, when prices are cut, sometimes quality takes a bit of a hit too. So today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the H3000D to see if it's a fantastic bargain or simply too good to be true. Now, first and foremost, the H3000D is a juicer. Therefore, to be of use to anyone, it needs to be good at extracting juice. Luckily, as per our testing, it doesn't fall over at that first hurdle. Like pretty much all horizontal cold press juicers, it works best with celery, leafy greens, root vegetables. It can also cope well with firmer types of fruit, although it does struggle a bit more with softer fruits like oranges. However, it can juice them perfectly effectively in moderation, as long as they're combined with other more suitable ingredients. When active, the H3000D works at a good slow speed of 90 rotations per minute. The average for horizontal cold press juices is about 80 rotations per minute, so it's really impressive that the more budget-friendly H3000D maintains a similar pace to peers that cost pretty much twice as much. Additionally, that slow rotation speed gives the orca plenty of contact time with ingredients, allowing it to thoroughly crush and grind them. As a result, the H3000D produces really quite good juice yields, and it's just as cost effective as other juicers on the market. This is also true as far as user experience is concerned. Ingredients are easy to drop down the feed tube, thanks to the attached funnel, and the auger readily accepts them and crushes them without much assistance. However, a pusher is provided on the occasion that assistance does need to be given. Other than that though, the juicer handles itself really well. Although, in the event of a blockage forming, it can be switched into a reverse mode. Lastly, it's worth pointing out that the juice produced by the H3000D is of a really good quality. In a lot of cases, cheaper cold press juices produce a thinner, less vibrant juice, but the H3000D does not fall under that stereotype, and it clearly puts ingredients under a sufficient amount of pressure to extract plenty of nutrients from them. Now, a juicer's juicing ability is key, but it also has to be cleaned after every use. Therefore, the cleaning experience is also really important. To that end, the H3000D once again matches up very similarly to other models of its type. It takes around two to three minutes to clean from start to finish, and most of the work can be done just by rinsing the parts under hot water. The juicing screen does take a bit more effort, and to stop it getting blocked up with pulp, it does need thoroughly scrubbing with a cleaning brush. However, other than that, the remaining parts take care of themselves without much hassle. Alongside the cleaning process, the assembly experience can also make or break a juicer. Cheaper juicers in particular can be tougher to assemble just due to inconsistencies in their production. However, despite testing multiple models of the H3000D from our stock, we didn't find any deformities in the parts, and the assembly process was consistent with all of them. As for the process itself, it's very straightforward. The drum guide is easy to lock in place thanks to the large locking clip, and it's held very firmly, which isn't a given even with more expensive models. As a result, it's very easy to get the auger and juicing screen in place, and the entirely symmetrical design of the juicing screen makes it much easier to position correctly, as it doesn't need to be placed in at a specific angle. Therefore, getting the end cap in place to finish the process is never really a problem. Keeping focus on the parts, they've been manufactured to a good standard from BPA-free plastics. Additionally, the juicing screen uses a decent amount of stainless steel, helping it be more stable and giving it a greater resistance to pressure. As for the H3000D unit as a whole, it's relatively compact, making it easy to fit onto a work surface, and it's quite lightweight, coming in at around 5 kilos. Therefore, it's easy to move it in and out of storage whenever necessary. 
In terms of design, it isn't quite as stunning as some of the really premium models out there, but it's still pleasing to the eye, and there's a modern aesthetic that pairs well with a neutral shade of black. Therefore, it can fit into most kitchen environments. However, it doesn't draw too much attention to itself. Finally, let's turn our attention to the accessories included in the box with H3000D. As would be expected, it comes with two collection containers, one for juice, one for pulp, a pusher and a cleaning brush. However, as a less predictable addition, it also comes with a second juicing screen that can be used as a substitute for the first if it ever gets damaged. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a blank screen and nozzle set, which is quite common with some of the more premium horizontal models. However, considering the price and purpose of the H3000D, that loss is insignificant at best. Overall, after considering all the factors that make a juicer great, the H3000D does seem to be a fantastic win for value. Admittedly, it doesn't have all of the fancy flares and features that come with a lot of its more expensive peers. However, those are things that do seem reasonable to pay for. And if you just want a good juicer to get started with, you can't really go wrong by going for the H3000D. It is worth noting that it doesn't make more expensive juicers irrelevant. However, when you consider what you get in terms of juice quality, efficiency, and the overall experience it provides, it is a really good buy.